Hey everybody, so today we're going to be doing some testing on the previous uh, video with the lights. Um, we're going to be doing, giving out specifications, testing them to make sure the specifications are correct and, every, and a bunch more stuff. So stick around, check out the video and I'll see you there. Hey everybody, how's it going? Alright, so... I got my power probe hooked up and see if I can get this close up. All right. Move the camera a little closer. Uh, turn the light on. Yeah. Four amps. 4.21 amps is what two of the nine inches are actually reading at. So, do it again. You can see both of them turn on. Now it's at four. So, let me see. Yeah, 4.17 to 4.21, somewhere around there. All right. Let me get a smaller track on. All right. Oh. Okay. So, I have the meter. This is an Ames meter. Um, I didn't buy these at Harbor Freight. I actually bought them used online. Um, but, I have it set to, to auto, DC direct current for the on, on auto range. And um, it's on the 60-600 amp range because it won't read anything off the 1000 amp range <clears throat> and I have just a couple little uh, alligator clips holding um, onto the main wires this red one's going to the power probe 4 this one's attaching to this one and running to the secondary light. So these are the nine inch lights and I had a viewer make a comment on the last video, which he kind of had a good point. I didn't think about it. Go grab the measuring tape. On the last video, I actually measured them with the housings. So, I went like that. And these, the nine inches, they're nine inches and three eighths in length. Now, the viewer um, that mentioned, well, hey, what about like TVs, you know, diagonally? Well, if you measure them diagonally, they're only eight and five sixteenths of an inch. So it's definitely not diagonal. 
so it has to be they have to be measured this way because they have they're getting nine inches well housing is nine inches and three eighths of an inch so they have to be measuring them from the outside of the housings because these the smaller ones that are supposed to be seven inches they're clearly not seven inches they're six and a half inches long so if the outside of the housing is six and a half inches long there's no way that the the diagonal to diagonal is going to be seven inches and these are exactly five inches and five eighths so um, these are just smaller than they said they claim these are a little bit bigger than they claim the, out, the outer diameter um, from edge to edge is nine and a half inches for the large ones. So the inside from diagonal to diagonal it is eight inches and three eighths. So um, they would have to be a lot larger to be, um, the housing would have to be almost ten inches in length just for the, the actual lens to be nine inches inside so diagonally so that won't work but it was a good good suggestion from the viewer so and I'm just running my power probe off of a off of a, a Duralast battery that I have in the house this is for my excursion and it's sitting on this uh, Schumacher charger and I just clamped the power probe to the charger. That way I don't kill the battery while I'm, I'm running the power probe. So, I'm gonna move, put this back over here. So if I turn these on again, it's reading at 5.95 amps. So the battery in the house might not be able to push them. <clears throat> because the longer I let the battery in the house charge, the higher the ampage goes. And the tip voltage is 50, bouncing between 59 and 60 volt, points, uh, 60 thousandths of a volt. So, let's see. So if I unhook the secondary, line what is it going to read with just one ah. you can see only one light's hooked up 2.57 amps Three. So three point seven is where it's stalling at, and grab my phone. So it means. If that one's stalling at 3.7 amps, <clears throat> then that means both of them together should be roughly around 6.13 amps. So, let's go through, while well, I take a break to smoke a cigarette, let's go to Amazon's page where I bought them and uh, look at the specs look at the specs of the large one Let's 
Okay, it's stating LED light bar and bother 9 inch 360 watts at 36,000 lumens. Off road fog lights, they were $38. So if we scroll down. Advanced LED chip, 60 LED chip, and flood spot combo beam. IP68 waterproof rated. Waterproof up to 4.2 feet for 30 minutes. 50,000 um, LED life hours. Um, Their product dimensions 9.3 by 2.4 by 3.1. This is the specs in pair. So if they're paired, 360 watts output 36,000 lumens. Their low energy consumption. Um, they were tested underwater for nine hours. They have a 230 foot effective lighting distance. And if you go, do, do, where's it at? Some people are saying they're running on a 14 gauge, but the problem is if these lights run at 15 amps per light, a pair would be 30 amps. You can't run 30 amps through 14 gauge. It would have to be somewhere around 10 or 8 gauge to run 40 amp 30 amps. Here's the other product specifications. LED power, 180 watts times 60 times 3 watt high intensity LEDs. So they're 180 watts per light, which would effectively make them 18,000 lumens per light. So as a pair, they're 36,000 lumens because they sell them to you in a pair. Operating voltage DC from 10 volts to 30 volts. 50,000 hour lifespan. Working temperature negative 40 to um, 185 degrees. LED color temperature pure white 6000K. Problem is this 6000K is not pure white. Pure white would be 5000 or 5500 around that range Kelvin. 6000K is more of a, a bluish hue. Um, so I'm going to say that the information on the color temperature is definitely wrong because my LED or my HIDs on my Ford Excursion are 6000K and they have a, a, a darkish bluish hue. Um, so, and it's not giving the amp rating. I got the 30 amp rating from one of the from the actual company when they sent me an email. So, they seem like good lights, I just think, and to me it looks like some of the information is not accurate. I honestly do not believe that one light is putting out 18,000 lumens. You know, and effectively, if I turn the ceiling fan off,
They are pretty bright. If I kind of point them that way. On camera, they have a blue hue, but they're not blue. They're pretty bright, but I don't think they're 18,000 uh, 18, lumens a piece bright, if you know what I mean. So let's turn the light back on. I'm going to set you back on the tripod. Okay, let's unhook these larger ones. Let's test the little ones because I have not actually tested the little ones. One point nine, so two two point three zero amps. You can see it's on. What do they look like against the wall? They are the little ones are pretty bright too. They're just the specifications of them being seven inches is, is definitely wrong. Okay, so got that one hooked up. Alright, so let's hook this one up with it. together. Okay. The light doesn't stay on very long. Okay, so these are both of them together. These are running at 4.96. So let's just say 5 amps total. And the power probe is running 11.9895. So it's appropriate voltage for the battery, but they're not running as high as they should. They they they're stating because according to the information, these these seven inches are actually um, 240 watts a pair which would be effectively 180 watts a piece, I believe. No, wouldn't be 180 watts a piece. Hundred and twenty watts a piece. It's definitely off. I think I had the hundred and eighty from the other ones in my head. 
So 120 watts a piece per light. It's 240 total. They're claiming um, 20 amps out of these. So 20 amps, that would be 10 amps a piece. There's no possible way that you're going to get 10 uh, that you're going to get 10 amps per light at uh, what they're saying because it, it two of them together are running at five and a half amps almost so effectively they're rating them at least four four amps too high and these are being rated at what almost 20 something amps too high so what their specification and their stating it doesn't make any sense and if we look at the specs on Amazon go back oops too far A seven inch do, do, go down these are also rated at these are rated from 9 to 30 volts these are saying 24,000 lumens total for the pair for the seven inch lights IP67 waterproof rated, 50,000 hours, the lifespan. These are saying perfect from negative 40 to 100 Fahrenheit, which is a whole lot less than the 9 inch. And the nine, they're, they're made of the same housings. You would think that the, the temperature rating um, for its working conditions you think it would be the same 185 degrees and they're not DC 9 to 30 volts IP 67 rated LED chips SMD LEDs these the color temperature is rated at 6500 Kelvin which I, I know they're not they're about the same shade as the 9 inchers I would, in all honesty, I would have bet that both sets are about 5,000K to 5,500K. Diecast aluminum housings, they both have that. Adjustable trinion bracket mount, they both have that. Lumens, 24,000 lumens, 12,000 lumens each. Two times LED light bar, mounting bracket kit, user manual, black wires negative, red wires positive is kind of simple, simplistic wiring. Um, but on here they're saying 6500K bright cool white light. So on here they're actually rating them as bright cool white, which would be a bluish hue white light. So it's, it's kind of interesting to me. These were tested in 12 hours worth of testing in water. Spot flood combo beam. These effectively have 164 feet of dis lighting distance, which at least that makes more sense. The bigger light has more distance than the smaller light, you know. These are rated 120 watts a piece. So I think we're going to have to do more testing. I think I'm going to have to install them on the truck and I'm going to actually have to do testing on the truck. That way I can have the motor running and I can test them with a battery that's not being discharged as it's being used. Because it's not sitting on a starter, it's just sitting in my house. And it says there's 89... Um, questions answered but I just scrolled to the bottom 
I'm only seeing about 15 questions. They're eight millimeter bolts according to what they're saying. Which that would be about right, eight millimeter bolts to the housing. And that looks kind of like a half inch bolt to me for the mounting to whatever you're gonna mount it to. But yeah, they're definitely not they're definitely not coming up the way they should. Cuz both of them together five five amps. And earlier they you can obviously see that there's battery drop on the voltage for the battery. Cuz when the battery was charged a little bit ago, it was pulling five almost five and a half amps so they're definitely not running 20 amps for a pair for these nor 30 amps for a pair for these so the specifications that when I emailed them the specs don't match they just don't match at all you know maybe I could hook up both sets. Yeah, I'll give that a try. Just curious. Four of them are hooked up. That's the light output. Let me turn the light off. Okay. They are bright together. They're lighting up the entire room. So you can see all four of them are on. But all four of them together are only reading 5.83 amps. So either it's just not enough ampage for all four of them on this battery over here. Or they're not reading properly. Let's see if I do that. Turn this switch off so that 
that goes out. See what happens if we run them straight from the battery. The power probe. You hear the power probe in the background. Okay. Five point eight four amps. It's dropping, so the battery is not able to hold it. So I think this will be the end of this video, and see what we can do. I'll um, I'll get them hooked up, and uh, if you guys want to see me test them while they're on the vehicle, let me know. But. 5 amps for all four of them. Either the meter's not working properly or the battery in the corner is not providing enough battery in that corner over there. It's not providing enough um, ampage output. Um, it's been sitting over there charging with that charger so I know the battery's not bad uh, because I, I can take the battery out, put it in the Ford, and I can play the, the music from the stereo off the Ford. So that the, I know the battery's not bad. It just might be that there's no alternator charging the battery, so there's no, no way that the lights can pull the amount of current and amperage that they require. So it's just allowing them to turn on. Because if I remove the larger lights from... The equation and I show you I already removed them from the equation eleven point nine four these lights are almost at five. These small seven inches are at five amps by themselves. So there is obviously not enough, not enough power coming from the battery to push out all four at their highest capability, because all four of them hooked up was was a little over five amps. Just these two alone was over five amps. So I'm going to have to do testing on the vehicle, um, see if I can mock them up where um, I can test them while they're on the vehicle and then we'll go from there. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe. Hit the bell notification icon if you guys want to see future updates and um, check out my Amazon affiliate links and I'll see you guys on the next video. Let me know what you guys think. Alright, peace.